Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this engagement cake decorated with a large bouquet top. I have a 10 inch cake board and sticking my six inch cake on top with some buttercream, filling in the layers. So I've used two cakes in total here cut in half. And now I'm creating the crumb coat to trap in any crumbs because I will be leaving this uncovered with fondant. Um, so no fondant covering, it'll be all buttercream, so you want to make sure that any crumbs get trapped in this first layer. Clean out the top and pop it into the freezer to set for 10 minutes. I've attached a 4 inch cake board with some buttercream and popping that in the freezer so it doesn't move around as we're building our top tier. Creating the last layer of buttercream, which is a nice thick layer, and I am taping it down, going around with my acrylic scraper quickly to move the buttercream around and smooth it down and then slowly to get a nice crisp finish. Clear up the top with your spatula and back into the freezer she goes to set for 10 minutes. I'm following the exact same steps here for my four inch cake. And this is also two cakes that I've used cut in half and all stacked. Into the freezer she goes for at least 15 to 20 minutes. I've added some uh, extra thick straws into my cake and that's to support the weight of our top tier. Assemble your cake and it's um, because it's been sitting in the freezer for so long I was able to handle it with my hands and it didn't affect the buttercream. Just cover up that seam and drape it back with your smoother and then I've got a rose gold luster dust by Creative Cake Decorating and I've added in some rose water to create a paint. Then using a brush I am going to brush it all over my cake um, it would be best to brush onto a cake that's fresh out of the fridge simply because you want your buttercream to be hard and set. You don't want to really give it time to soften out at room temperature if it does. Um, preferably you could use a, I mean, you would be using anyway, a crusting buttercream if you're following the recipe that I have in the description box below. But yes, that would work best for this sort of cake if you're painting directly onto the buttercream. You could also try your luck with white chocolate ganache, that would work pretty well too, but you won't get the nice pale look that you have here. And then as I work my way down the cake, I'm only brushing up until halfway and I'm making some strokes shorter, some strokes longer. I wasn't too fussy with the top because I knew it would be covered completely, but I'm just going to colour it in with that rose gold paint as well. Then I've taken my brush and I've just created some extra wispy areas because it wasn't wispy enough for me. Then pop the cake into the fridge to rest. In the meantime we'll create our bouquet. These are um, fake flowers that I bought from a $2 shop. You can find them at your bargain store. And I've cut the stems to be about 3 centimeters long. These little pieces didn't quite have wires but I did rip them off anyway and I'd use them as filler. Try to select flowers that have a lot of greenery. This will look really nice as you're filling in around the sides. I also used these really pretty uh, flowers here. Not too sure what they're called, but I, you can find them pretty easily at the bargain stores. I have some floral foam, cutting it to about a little bit smaller than four inches around, and then covering it in glad wrap. We don't want that foam to be touching our cake because it's not exactly food safe. It tends to let loose of little particles. So I'm double wrapping it in glad wrap. Now the section there that is nice and tightly covered will be the section touching our cake because it's most covered. Turn it around and then start poking your flowers into our little, um, little platform here. I like to start in the middle with my larger flowers and then I work around filling in the space. As you get closer to the bottom, I like to pop the flowers inside it um, from side on. And with the larger flowers that have a lot of wire in them, I like to bend it so it looks like it's coming off the cake and kind of dangling down. So here you can see I'm going in sideways, like I said before, to cover all that foam. You can't see it once it's on the cake. And then the greenery just covers in the areas where you can see through and I try to concentrate the greenery at the very bottom as well so it dangles off the side of the cake. With those little little flowers that we had 
that have no wires, I'm just popping them right in the middle into spaces that I can see. And that's your fake flower bouquet done. Pop it onto your cake, stick it on with a little bit of buttercream. And I'm just filling in with some more greenery. And you're done. And that's you create a two-tier engagement cake painted in edible rose gold paint with some wispy um, stroke effects and the hero of this tutorial with the large bouquet on top of the cake. Uh, the key here is to select flowers that really pop against your cake. So if you're doing a white cake, that would be absolutely incredible because the flowers would just go cool, so vibrant. Um, against the gold cake, I really like the reds and like the, um, the more uh, Merlot sort of winey wine related colors. But you could really experiment with this one. It's a lot of fun and very easy to do. And that's tutorial for this Tuesday. Thanks guys for tuning in and I will catch you next week. If you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload a new video every Tuesday. I'll also mention I do sell these cake toppers on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com. Thanks again and I'll catch you next week.